result is so close to us we get anxious? Yeah. No, we just stick to the process. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the key thing on short putts is because it's in our peripheral vision, like when I'm looking down, I can see the, the end in mind, so to speak. We can get a little anxious. Make sense? No, we need to stick to the same process over and over, just executing. And then it just happens to go in. That makes sense? Rather than worrying about it, okay? All right, so we're gonna just run the same process over and over, three footer, pretty straight, correct? Yes. Maybe um, breaks a little bit. Right. Yeah, go for it. Okay, a couple practice strokes. Boom, boom, excellent. Good. All right, so when you're practicing your short putt, practice your process. do the process I, like I read the pot I visualize it going in I set up to it um, oh maybe I make a couple practice strokes and then I set up to it then I just make a good stroke and then it either goes in or it doesn't yeah. make sense yeah. so just stick you almost want this almost like this little bit of a flow to it if that makes sense yeah. so we're just learning to run a process um, with her process, we basically have a decision tree, how long is the putt, which way does it break, and where she's going to aim it, right? And then she visualizes what a good putt looks like. A couple practice strokes, sets up, execute what a good stroke feels like, and then immediately go into feedback. You know, just kind of recognize I either pushed it or pulled it or hit it too hard, too soft, miss hit it, misread it, whatever. But she just gets in this habit of just doing a process over and over and over again. And as we get better, we, we will think less. Thinking actually slows the process down. And if we get more into awareness, it just starts flowing. She just does it. Yep. It'll get faster and faster and faster. Okay, did you miss that one? Yeah. Did you miss reading? Huh? I didn't read enough. All right, let's go through the same process though. You're actually aiming left to where you think you are. Wow. Yeah. Yep. So that's something we'll work on a little bit. So in, in the process, the targeting and the aiming and the aligning don't match. So like she just missed two putts left. Well, that's just because the alignments were left. All right. You ready? Let's do it one more time. Okay. So now let's set the face open maybe a degree. All right. So that you guaranteed the face is over here, right? So the worst thing to have on a right to left putt is a closed club face when I don't know it's closed. Right? So we got away with an open face on a right to left putt. Yeah. Now on a left to right putt we might get away with a closed face. Mm -hmm. But all I had her do was set the face more open than she thought she needed to. Do the same thing here. So the, the ball's direction is controlled by the face. Alright, so it still breaks a little right to left. Set the face maybe a half a degree to a degree open. So it looks a little open too. <laughs> Alright, now maybe not as open on this one, okay?
right, do one more for me and then we're going to go work on getting the face moving. A little, little more, it's going to feel open to you, uh -huh. but it's going to be square. Yep, mid process, visualize it. Set the face open a degree or two. Just make sure your putter, and then the ball goes. See the little hole? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now go ahead and set up to it. Okay. Now, when you lean the shaft, remember you asked me how much I should. Mm -hmm. See the lasers on the shaft? Yeah. Lean it backwards. See how it's not on the shaft? Mm -hmm. Lean it till it's on the shaft. That's perfect. Now go past that point. Ah. So go back to where. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Now let's go. Beautiful. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let me line up that laser. Make sure this doesn't move. Yeah, okay, now, so square face, which looks open to you, right? Yes. Now the shaft, yeah, so you could be on the middle of the shaft or maybe a hair in front. Yeah, yeah, a little, no, the, oh, yeah, so there, you can be there. Go ahead. Beautiful. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now we're either got the face open, or I got this too far to the right. I got it too far to the right. Let me adjust this. Okay, now go ahead and put the putter in there. So this line's for the face. You see your white line here? Yeah. That should arc slightly in the backswing. It should never be outside. Mm -hmm. It can either be on it or in it, inside of it, but never where. Uh -huh. And it should never be inside over here. Yes. It should be on it or above it. Okay? Yeah. Got it. All right, so face. Yep, shaft. Yep, and then arc. Oh, yeah, little, oh, yeah. That's okay, don't worry about the how hard right now. practice stroke without a ball. Alright, so what's kind of cool is those two outside lines kind of move parallel to the arc in the backswing. Did you yeah. notice that? Yeah, I did. Okay, now make a backswing. Now, how far back away from this laser line are you? About a foot? Yeah. On the follow through, don't go any longer than that. Mm -hmm. So swing through, and then you would stop. Okay? Alright, now, you ready? Let's get a little process going. Face, shaft, almost at the same time. Face and shaft at the same time. Okay, arc, and then stop. Yes. Now just do a little quicker. Yeah. <clears throat> so, golf is like a bunch of mini processes that we go through. Like, let me give you an example. We could use the same process with a driver. Let's take this first hole at Pine Needles. It's par five, dog leg, uphill left to right, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. So you're sitting there going, okay, to that corner I need to hit me a 250, 260 yard shot. Right. Well, that's a three wood for me and driver for her, right? Right. And then you look at the shape of the hole and say, well, it's a fade hole. So I gotta start the ball on the left, left side of the fairway. 
That makes right. sense? Yep. Or even left rough it, right? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, remember I said, okay, how long is the putt? Which way is it break? Where, where am I going to aim? Well, the driver would be, okay, 250 yard shot, slight left to right. I'm going to aim at that tree and let the ball fade off that tree. Same process, just different club. Right. Make sense? Mm -hmm. And then maybe make a couple practice swings, whatever I'm working on, right? Well, or make a fadey feel swing to it, right? Right. And then sit up looking at my target, aiming the club, aligning my body for that little fade, right? Yep. And then I execute what a good fade swing feels like, and then, oh, I hit a little off the heel. So you actually can learn to use the same process that she's learning with putting. Right with every club in her bag. Mm. It's just in a different context. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. You know what I mean? So it's almost like you gotta sit there and let the environment tell you what shot to be played. Rather than you going in there predetermining that I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna do this. It's like the other way around. It's like the layout of the that's why good old golf courses are good golf courses because they actually had um, good architects usually yeah. um, there's very few there's a lot of there's a lot of new architects that are good but they're not great because they don't think like the great ones did right. you know what I'm saying we've got we're lucky here at Pine Needles to have Kyle France he's really good yeah he's kind of old school he's new but old school so if you see the renovation out here at oh, yeah. Pine Needles it yeah. feels old yeah I think the only beef I have is the greens are too undulate. There's too much movement in greens this day. There is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So can you now, ready? Remember how you're going face then shaft? Mm -hmm. Can you do the shaft and the face simultaneously? So it, we, instead of it being two steps, it's one. Can you get the shaft on the laser right off the bat? Yes. There, that was easy. Okay. Yeah, let it arc. Good. That a girl. Very good. So I'd rather you do that than forward press. Mm -hmm. I'd rather you find the neutral shaft, go ahead shaft. Yep, in the face. Yep, good. Nice. There you go. Like feels setup, smoother. But my setup is not like way too deep. It's like more in the face each time. Well, that's yeah. kind of what we're doing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> that's where we're heading. Rather than that was a pretty good insight that she just mm -hmm. discovered was instead of three steps, it's one smooth step. Right. Right. Yeah. Good. Excellent. So. We're gonna call this something. I'm gonna give you this mat to take home with you. Um, I can't give you the laser, you can buy one, okay? <laughs> but you can order one, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I like putting a laser so I can see it shine on the shaft. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I can see it. And then I can see what it would look like looking down, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now, we're gonna get a little science today. Is that okay? Yeah. Now we saw the club face is this way, didn't we? Yeah. Well, if I put this T perpendicular to the face, that's called a face vector. A vector has a magnitude and a direction. Mm -hmm. So why don't you aim this T for me? So aim the T, yep. Ah, there we go. Now see how the T is to the right of the arc? Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you ever thought about aiming the face that way? And what's interesting, there's no lines going which way? Which They're all going this way, yeah. yeah. See how it looks like the letter T? Yeah. That's learning to aim the face. Now the head might look open to you, mm -hmm. but now you're aiming the face. Yeah. Okay, now let's lift the handle up a little bit so the heel gets there, you feel that? Yeah. Okay, now lean the shaft backward, the T will go up. Lean the shaft forward, the T will go down. Now get it nice and centered. Now get it with a laser right on the shaft. Yes. There you go. So this is called calibrating your setup. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes. And you'll notice where it is. Uh, 
kind of comes inside your foot a little bit. Yeah. All right. All right, so give me that one smooth move where you're aiming the face, the shaft, and then the putter head arcs. Yeah, and then stop. So I want your follow through and your backswing to be almost Oops. symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Remember I said I don't measure it? Yeah. Okay, so don't measure your stroke. Yeah. Just feel how big it needs to be with how much force it needs to have. Yeah, a girl. Okay, so now the only thing you have to be careful about is you see this arc that's on the ground? Yes. The arc isn't really on the ground. Mm -hmm. It's actually it's actually up in the air like this on a plane angle, like up through your neck or so. Yeah. So if you get going too far on the ground, you'll start pulling putts. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? So just kind of put your putter in there for a second. So you can see that that's too much arc, correct? Mm -hmm. So you, I'm gonna start rotating this up until it matches. You tell me when they, they, they almost cover each other. Right there. Right there, and then that would be too much? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's coming kind of right up through here. Mm -hmm. So make a back swing for me and a through swing for me. Yeah, okay, good. Now do like, do like a little one, red to red for me. Yeah, let's do like blue to blue for me. Yeah, so those are, and do it quicker. Yeah, feel that? Okay, good. All right, set up to it for me. All right. Yes, now your follow through was too big. Too big. and the shaft at the same time. Yeah, like that. Yeah, good. Now, a little bit bigger back swings. Yeah, a little bit bigger back swing. Make sure that's it. Actually, we can adjust it right now. It's in the bag. It's in the bag at home. I think you probably got it. So go for it. Keep dropping. Yeah, it's a little quicker backswing. You know there's acceleration in the backswing, correct? 
I mean, I, I knew it a little bit, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, All right, most people think acceleration is which way? Forward. But they don't realize there's acceleration that way. Mm -hmm. So to make your stroke longer, just give me a little bit of gas going where? Back. Make sense? Yeah. So almost to the point where the force going that way, and the force, yes, do that again. Do, no, hit your foot again. Oh. The force going that way and coming back, feel almost the, uh, yeah, go for it. So a little more force in the backswing. Yeah, yeah, you feel that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's good. Does that putter feel different than yours? It's a little heavy, yeah, it's a little heavier. Heavier? At the bottom. At the bottom, yes. Yeah. Overall lighter. Yeah. Overall lighter, head heavier. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. How does that smaller grip feel? Like you can get your fingers on yeah, it better? Yeah, I can feel my, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's it, good. Now switch to one of those blade putters for a second. So we're right at 33 inches right now for her length. Um, I'm giving her some faces that are a little more uh, firmer. You can hear the contact a little bit louder, right? Mm -hmm. I gave her the soft one first. Uh, I gave her the Odyssey White Hot, which was the soft one, but it's that's a even though it's a soft insert, it's a smooth. Yeah, not like yeah. It, yeah sometimes we get too much milling marks or too deep of a of a texture it can feel real soft and dead mm -hmm. how's that butter feel feels good I like that. does that one feel like it wants to follow that curve better yeah like easier mm -hmm. yeah go ahead I so, yeah. yeah handle up just a little bit higher there you go good now swing it there you go all right try the red handled one you don't want to know how much that one is, okay? okay. Larry's got about four of those, don't you? No, but that one's four digits. Oh, shoot, okay. Yeah. Might not have that one. Yeah, that one's German stainless. That one? Handmade. Yeah. Go for it. Yep. Got it. So that was a little bit too slow in the backswing. So whenever you're short, you don't have enough load in the backswing. Mm -hmm to generate transfer of momentum on the downswing. You don't have enough momentum. Yeah. So therefore you feel like you gotta uh, push, yeah. Yeah, push it there. So whenever you feel like you're pushing it there, not enough backswing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that just happening. Yeah. So let's go ahead and overload the backswing some point in time. Let's re yeah, just really load it. Yeah, ready? Yeah, oh. see that? Oh, yeah. All right, I another one. Same way? Or yeah, but no pauses, just nice flow. Face and shaft, let it arc. Yeah, there you go, like that. See how you didn't have to add any extra oomph mm -hmm. to it? I heard it too. I was happy. What did you hear? It wasn't as like forceful as the bottom. Gotcha, perfect. Good. All right, now. Uh, out of those four, which one did you like the best? I like the one. Okay. I'm not, yeah. I'm gonna try that again. Now that one's a high three digit. The other one's a four digit. That one's a high three digit. Yeah. Handle up a little bit. Hot. Yeah, good. Now swing it. Yeah, that sounds good. I like the feeling of when I hit the ball with this one. Like it doesn't feel, it feels soft, I guess you could say. It's not soft though, that's the funny. Run your fingernail across it. Yeah. It's only got like a little bit of milling, right? Mm -hmm. Run your fingernail, like, like on a, yes. Oh yeah. Okay. okay, now run it across yours. Yeah, just like. Mine's a little. Yours is like got a, got a texture and it's, well, it's a yeah. plastic. Mm -hmm. So you have a polymer insert in there, and polymer is very inconsistent. Yeah. Odyssey. Odyssey somehow figured out how to make their white hot OG insert.
consistent. They somehow figured it out. Cool. I can't remember the guy's name. I think it was Dr. Fisher or something like that. Dale Fisher or something like that. I can't remember if he's a doctor or not, but he's the guy that started this polymer thing. Mm -hmm. He's got patents and yeah. so some could argue temperature affects it. But yeah, this one swung the easiest. Yes. Yeah, good. And let me just tighten it. has improved by a thousand percent. A oh, couple okay. wins done that. <laughs> yeah, but we can't, results can't determine my attitude. My attitude is a choice every day I wake up in the morning. Uh, sorry. Sorry. So you're dealing with somebody that's, uh, this doesn't go on the internet. Got it. Take it back closed and hit it. How many degrees left of that green line would you say that is? Four or five degrees? Mm -hmm. it's definitely that's where you were. On those miss right to left pots, that's what you're doing. It's crazy. It's crazy or you're crazy. <laughs> Me. Okay, now let's set it up open and maybe open it a degree or two going back and then close it right back down. Open, close. Yeah. Okay, so you closed it too hard. Okay, do it again. Let it open a little bit in the back swing. Almost like the arc says, hey, let me open. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, firmer pads, because that's way too light. Okay, ready? Let it open a little, and then close it. Perfect. Sorry. We had to turn the lights off to the laser work. I, I get it, I get it. Sorry, it's I cool. didn't know you guys might expect to use this ring. Sorry. Uh, it's the only AC. I understand that 100%. I've been out on the golf course all day. Yeah, so. You can't afford to set it up closed, can you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was uh, John. Andrews. Andrews. I, was, I said Meg Mallet. John Andrews. <laughs> That's the wrong person. I was in the right area. Yeah. Kind of. Oh, you're fine. All right. So I think when you take it. Now let's change the face rotation a little bit. So I would say adding or two to the arc, adding a degree or two, a rotation, yeah. is okay as long as it comes back. Yeah. So let's say I open it a degree or two, mm -hmm. it just needs to return that degree or two. It doesn't need yeah. to go to five degrees shut. Mm -hmm. I get that. Yeah, so I do think you need to let it open a touch. Yeah, like that. You'll know because the balls will just start going right down the laser like mm -hmm. every time. Face and shaft, good line go up a little bit. Hold it with your pads more, you're a little too tippy. Thank you, girl, that's it. That's it. I'd like to stay in here and teach, can I stay in here? <laughs> yeah, sure, we'll no. okay. I'd like to get the whole thing done. Yeah, I know. Handle, yeah, good. Now, what's funny is when I'm too loose with my grip, because I grew up with that advice, <laughs> anytime my grip, get, grips get, get, grip gets loose, the face gets open at the end of my backswing, and I miss it to the right. Yeah. So this would be a typical loose figure grip. So when I set up to the ball, and if I'm not careful, I get too soft. I get too soft in the fingers. Where that went too, we had it too tight there. I get too loose in the fingers on it, and then it kind of gets loose and yeah. starts off to the right. I get wispy and floppy. So you have that thing twisted down all the way. Yeah. Really this bone lifted up. Now you're really just set in the club with this. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Now just swing it quicker, not so careful. And hold it with your pads. Yeah. Wrist up a little, got it. So stay right there. You want me to tattoo you? Yeah. <laughs> Stay right there. You want to play on green or orange? It doesn't matter. <laughs> so this bone and this bone feel level mm -hmm. versus, actually, you know your bracelet right here? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you just lift it up. Yes, not too much, not too much. There you go. Yes, just lift it, yeah, you're right there. It, All right. So I, you're gonna use the bracelet. And this bone, mm -hmm. see that, don't go too high. See how it arches like this, it's too high. Okay, back down a little bit, so use that feeling right through here. Mm -hmm. You got away with a little bit of lipstick today, but not too much, <laughs> this, this feels like through that bracelet. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, yes, yeah, too high. Just right. You'll know you're too high because the heel of the putter will be up.